everyone, it's teacher and trainer Christy M. And I am going to show you guys how to download Zoom, accept your friend request from your trainer and or add them, and uh, what the process will be like when you're downloading Zoom. And I'll also show you guys the speed tests as well because the speed tests in Zoom, they're all going to be within the same session. Don't stress out about learning how to use Zoom. You only use it for your training here. Once you're launched with 5 Talk, you'll be using a different system. But everyone has a thousand questions about Zoom because it's so new. So I'm just going to show you guys what to do. First thing you guys are going to download Zoom. Open your browser. You know, this is Google. So I'm just going to search download Zoom. Da, 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 da. Would you look at that first thing is zoom.us forward slash download I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna show you guys I have it installed on my computer already but if I didn't the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here zoom client for meetings download the first button as you can see it's at the bottom of my browser downloading oh would you look at that it's finished when it's done you guys will click on it and it's just going to automatically open. You're going to click continue. It's going to go through all here and you're just going to click continue, continue, continue next until eventually it finishes downloading on your system and the app opens. The app looks just like this and it's super simple. There's only four buttons, home, meetings, contacts, chats. So once you have it downloaded, your trainer will send you a friend request 24 hours before your training session. Um, he or she will send you an email that just details what the steps you need to take are. They're going to include a training manual that you guys will need to read over. And they're going to tell you to accept the friend request on Zoom and to send a speed test 15 to 30 minutes before your lesson. So now you're reading all this. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Ah, so you open Zoom and you want to feel prepared. You can add your trainer. You do have their contact information in your teacher's portals. So if you want to add your teacher beforehand, that's fine. They'll accept it. Um, you're just going to go to contacts See down here on the bottom. One, two, three, contacts. You're just going to click there, plus add contact. And you're just going to write your trainer's email. And mine is uh, christym51talk at gmail.com. Add, okay, it's not letting me add it because, of course, it's myself. So that's how you'll do it. And it will just say add. Um, and then you just click, like, and it'll say, this person has been added. Okay. And then you close it. So if you're going there, and if your teacher adds you, uh, beside contacts, it's going to say chats. And in chats, you're just going to click system notifications, and you will just click accept. So there you're going to see your friend request in here. And this is where you click accept, or you're going to click accept. So you've done it. There you go. And now you guys are getting ready to start. So you've added your trainer or your trainer's added you and you guys on Zoom. So in the email it says that you need to send your speed test results via Zoom. Please do not email your teachers. These. Send them on Zoom or your trainer. Send them on Zoom. Um, how you do this, you, they will, in the email, they send you a link that says like speedtest.net. I'll show you guys what it is. Speedtest.net. So you're going to go to this website there's a big button that's yellow that says go. So you're going to click that button. And while you click that button, this program is just testing your internet speed. It says download and upload. It's going to tell the trainer how fast your computer is. 5 one Tosh requirements are super low. It's like 5 megabytes per second. And the upload is 0.7. So as you can see, my download right now is 60. Their minimum is 5. Pretty much everyone in the U.S. and Canada is going to pass this speed test. They just need to make sure that you're like at home and you're not on Wi-Fi in Starbucks or at McDonald's or out somewhere in the car with spotty Wi-Fi. You just need to prove your stable connection. That's what they're looking for. So now you have this, and some people often will screenshot their page. No, it doesn't show the time that you guys took this speed test result. So the trainer wants the actual link few ways you can go about this at the top here see how it says like results six seven three one four eight four seven two nine so that's my direct link for it so you can just command C control C copy it or right click click copy and or right here where it says share the first little button is this little link you click that the web copy this again so once you have that link copied you're just gonna go to zoom and um, you can just send that to your teacher 
So you're just going to paste that in there, which has that number. So this is exactly how one of my students had done it. They sent me the link, you know, and then I just click it and I can open theirs. I can see where they're coming from, what time of day they did the, late, the, the test, what the date was, where they're from, what their results are. That's what your teacher's looking for, or your trainer's looking for. So again, speed test, I'm not click go and just copy and paste that URL link at the top into your Zoom chat. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope it was helpful. And if you do have questions, your trainer will help you guys, or you can ask me anything. Good luck.